Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. Today we have a Humble Bundle I think a lot of you are going to love. This one brings two things I very much like together, the Godot Game Engine and Game Dev TV. This is a collection of courses from Game Dev TV, everything you need to know to make games using Godot 4. Uh, and I'm going to show you some of the quality of the courses you're dealing with here. So this is Learn to Make Games in Godot 4 Humble Bundle. If you don't know how this works, Humble Bundle is a collection of stuff, in this case courses, arranged around a theme, in this case Godot 4. You decide how your money is allocated between Humble Charity, the publisher, and a few soldiers do, Thank you so much if you do to help support Game From Scratch. This bundle is organized into tiers. You buy a higher dollar value too, you get all of the stuff below it. At the $1 tier, you're getting a shader, uh, Godot 4 shader course. At the median price tier, you're getting mobile game development and a game controller. That is both a game controller as well as a course on creating the game controller. And then at the full fat tier, you're getting a number of complete courses. And these are really large courses, as we will see in just a second, such as the complete 2D course, the complete 3D course. Uh, uh, the C Sharp Action Adventure course. So this is using the C Sharp programming language, which is actually kind of nice because there's not a lot of C Sharp related projects out there. And then you get a multiplayer course in early access. So this course is still being developed. So actually as it's updated, you will obviously get those updated uh, and then you're getting some filler. Uh, so these are just basically some asset packs. They're, they're here, uh, whatever. Uh, so anyways, let's go take a look at the courses themselves. All this stuff is available on the Game Dev TV website. So you actually redeem to it. They use uh, Teachable as their product. And once you've got your stuff redeemed, go on in here and you will find a plethora of courses. So let's start with the Action RPG one. This is using the C-sharp program language and this course is all about creating one game across the entire thing so you can see how this is broken down um so you get introduction and setup uh in each course you know you're looking between uh one minute and seven minutes in length here and then we're getting longer as we go so then we talk about player movement uh dealing with state machines designing a level adding enemies uh, and then we move on to the combat system, game interface, finishing touches, and so on. So you can see several hours of course material here. Each one of these is a video topic. So you see here, very loud. I'll turn the volume completely off on it. it kind of walks you through. As you can see, it's all very nicely zoomed in. So you should be able to see this even if you're using a mobile device for it. Uh, as you're walking through, if there are relevant documentation to go with it, you'll find them under the resource section. This is one of the neat things they actually do is they have project changes as they go. So if I click here, it will bring me to their GitLab page and you will see what you actually changed in the project. So you could pull out that particular uh, Git revision and follow up to that date. So if you're following along and your thing didn't work, you can check out their project also at the same time you can find you can just go ahead and download the project available right here so this one is c sharp as you can see two months ago this is all stuff very very current so let's go take a look at what exactly you would be doing in this course so here you can see this is the project for it uh, so it's a two and a half d style so it's uh 2d sprites in a 3d world like so so here is your player character Obviously, you could click on said character and find all of the various different scripts that are attached to deal with this guy. This is a C-sharp based project. So, of course, you're going to see C-sharp code in this case. I think this is the only C-sharp project here. The rest of them use GDScript uh, in terms of uh, how things work. You can see how everything is set up. Of course, you're getting all the assets to make this environment as well. And let's, uh, let's go ahead back to 3D viewport here and we will do a quick run of this project. So, you can see the kind of thing that you're working towards in this particular project here. So, let's... Uh, Open this guy up, give it a start. So you are a guy in the world, you have a kick and a sword attack. You have enemies, you can see the sight line as they're going about looking for you. Uh, and they will do NPC chase and follow once you're still in. So as long as I'm still in range, they will keep coming after me. And then you go through the world. Uh, and then you can see here, we're going to have some interaction. So I'm going to go ahead up to this chest right here. And we'll go ahead and open it up like so. So there we now have a new weapon available. Um... So that, that is one of the projects here. I'm going to let that guy come and kill me. Gives you an idea of the the scope of the type of stuff you're working on here. Cool looking stuff for sure. So that is the uh, RPG project. So that is uh, this one right here, the Action Adventure course in C Sharp. We'll also take a quick look at the 3D course. So once again, head back on over to Game Dev TV right here. Uh, the 3D course and the 2D course is very similarly structured. So let me just scroll up to the top here. All right, so let's go home, like so, and uh, okay, Game Dev TV. 
Uh, the other thing you'll notice is it actually tracks your progress through the course. So as you're progressing through the course, it's keeping up with what you're doing. You're gonna find, again, the 2D and the 3D are very similar in what they're set up for. So here is the 3D, uh, and you can see both of these ones, the 2D and the 3D that you're getting here, uh, you're getting multiple projects. So this one is a different example of using Godot 4. This one is all using GDScript, but here what you're doing is creating a project called Project Boost, and it walks you through making this smaller game. Uh, then Barbarian Blaster, which is a tower defense style game. And then finally Robo Rampage, which is an FPS style shooter. And again, as you go through these things, you can, uh, again, click each one. Uh, the resources will be available down here and you can go to the Git code uh, for what has actually changed for that project. You'll also notice some of them have stuff like this, which is a downloads collection. So you can download the images, the, the assets used in this project and so on, often available as well. So we're gonna take a quick look at that guy. So that is, uh, this is the shooter. Uh, so let's just do a quick run of it. it. Gives you an idea of the kind of thing. Again, this one is using GD script. Uh, I'm not even gonna try and play it, but you run through here, you shoot at things hopefully destroy them, and then you die. <laughs> so it uh, gives you an idea. This is, again, uh, walking you through how to create a shooter-style game. So, you know, hit scanning of weapons, AI that chases and follows, and so on. So that is the one project. Again, everything you see here, uh, they walk through it step-by-step step in terms of creating this. And again, the nice thing is they take that... Uh, the get based approach so you can just download it to where you're at so i encourage you to actually type things out as you go you do develop a muscle memory as you are typing things of course you can also click on any of these items in here learn how they work read the scripts behind them this guy in this case is entirely using gd script from this point and then the simple starting point for the um the uh, projects in the in the 3d one is this guy right here and it's like a a boost style game and you're basically trying to get over here using just the right amount of arrow key and propulsion to land over there. And then they're gonna put a barrier in your way and then you gotta do it again. It's actually kind of addictive. So this is where they start you off, simple 3D. And by the way, once this guy is up here, it gets a lot harder to complete. So that is another one of the projects here. Again, all of the code for creating this. This is, like, this is kind of the starting point. The other project in here, this 2D one. Uh, so right here. Uh, so that was the 3D that we looked at right there. So that had three games inside of it. This one also has three 2D style games to work in it. We saw this guy in action here, which was the uh, RPG quest type thing, but this one is using C Sharp. And then the other course you've got is the multiplayer early access, a mobile game development course, a game controller and course, and then finally shaders. So it's got a pretty broad swath of uh, Godot covered. Everything here is Godot 4. Uh, this is all game dev TV. Again, I've always been a big fan of their stuff, but I'm curious what you think. And another thing I'm thinking about doing here is actually speed running through a lot of these courses and giving kind of more of a formal review of what I thought of each one. Let me know if you'd be interested in a follow-up video in a week or two uh, where I kind of review each course or do you know what you're getting? Also, if you you have used game dev TV stuff in the past. What do you think of these courses, um, of their courses in general and their quality? Uh, for 25 bucks, it's going to be one of the most comprehensive sets of Godot 4. So it's all current, none of the Godot 3 or earlier stuff. It's all Godot 4 and newer. Uh, and it covers pretty much everything you can think of. Again, uh, 3D, 2D, mobile, player controller, multiplayer, and C sharp. And that's kind of most of what you need to know. And then, of course, let's throw in shaders as well. And then again, some throw in crap that we're not going to talk about today. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Godot 4 bundle. Learn to make games in Godot 4 by Game Dev TV. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of Game Dev TV. And I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.